Today I'm going to tell you how to buy uh, pesticides for emerald ash borer when you go to your gardening store. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to the store and go to the shelf and look at the pesticides that are, that are on the shelf and look on the label to make sure that emerald ash borer is listed. Uh, many of the products that a homeowner will be able to buy should have an active ingredient that says 1.47% imidacloprid or something like that. But the active ingredient in most cases is going to be imidacloprid. Once you find out that emerald ash borer is on the label, you would have to read it carefully to tell you how much to put onto your tree. And in this particular label, it says you need to put one fluid ounce of product per inch around the trunk of the tree. What you would do is you would take a tape measure, very much like what you might have in a sewing kit. My trusty assistant, Anne-Marie, can come here and stick your arm in over here. Uh, I'll show you. You just take, your, you, you take the, the tape measure and you can see that, it's, that her wrist with her sweater, her puffy sweater, is uh, eight inches all the way around. On a real tree, in this schematic over here, what you'll be doing is you'll be standing right next to the tree and four and a half feet above the soil line, you would take your tape measure and wrap it around the trunk and you would come up with your measurement in inches. If you were to measure that tree and it was 30 inches all the way around, you would need 30 fluid ounces of the insecticide to be placed around the base of the tree. Not all trees have a single stem, some have multiple stems, and in order to find out the volume of the tree you're going to be treating in a multiple stem tree, you would just measure the distance around each of the trunks and add them together in order to get your distance. So if this was 15 inches and this was 15 inches, the total would be 30 inches. The first thing I would recommend doing is filling the watering can halfway full of water. Then what you do is you take your measured amount of pesticide and pour it into the watering can and then when you're done, you fill the watering can up to the top. Then you have enough of a mixture in order to apply the pesticide evenly around the tree. You want to make sure that for that product to get down into the roots of this particular tree, you don't want it, getting, you don't want it being taken up by the turf grass around it. So you would want to sort of dig around maybe six inches to a foot around the base of the tree, removing that grass, okay? Or if there, or if in fact, if there was mulch there, you might pull away the mulch to make sure you're pouring it on brown soil, and then you would pour it around the base. And then just to be on the safe side so nobody uh, walks on, you would wait until after that water stopped puddling, until it was soaked into the soil, and then you would put the mulch back on it, and nobody would be exposed to any pesticides. There are many different products that have labels for emerald ash borer. Okay? This particular product here uh, it says that it does uh, treat uh, emerald ash borer, but this happens to be a granular product, and you would know it because when you shake it, you would hear that there's granules inside, okay? You can't pour the granules inside a watering can, dissolve them, and then pour it around the base of the tree because it's not formulated to do that and it won't do the job correctly. This only works when you pour it around the base of the tree using the measured amount, as it says on the label, and then you would incorporate it around, into the soil and then you would water it in. 